Okay folks, here we are back again today. I'm going to do a short video on uh, adjusting the taper with a sawmill. Now, this video is aimed towards you old dogs that have sawed lumber for years. This is aimed toward the beginning sawmiller who may be still trying to work the kinks out of things. Now I'm sawing with a Norwood LM2000 manual mill and uh, I've got a 16 foot spruce log on here. We've got it all peeled. Now as you can see, looking up that log, there's a fair amount of taper. Not a great amount, but uh, we've got about four inches difference from one end of that log to the other. Now, somebody starting out in this business might say, well, what's the difference? You know, why do I have to adjust for taper? So if you look at this block of wood here, now I've kind of exaggerated this. When you saw a piece of lumber, you want the grain running about like those pencil lines on that side of the piece there. You want a nice straight grain running through your wood that makes the wood structurally sound and uh, something that's a pleasure to work with. If I sawed that log just the way that this taper is running right here now, running down, I would wind up with a grain that was more like this. Now that's exaggerated a little bit, but you get the idea. The the grain pattern running through that lumber wouldn't be structurally sound. Uh, the wood would have a tendency to split on you. So if we look right here at the scale on the side of this mill, we can get focused in here. Now I'm just inside the stump flare on the bottom of this log. You can see where that log flares up there a little bit. So I've gone just inside that stump flare because that's just going to be waste wood anyway. So looking at this, we're at 16 and a half inches. Now if I travel the mill down, down at this end of the mill, or the log, if I lower this blade right down to the log, see it right in there, I'm at 12 and a half inches. So the difference in taper on this log is 12 and a half to 16 and a half. So what I want to do is split that four inch difference. So I'm going to bring this up from 12 and a half up to 14 and a half. Now, I'm going to tighten the T handle up here so the head doesn't move. Now with this Norwood mill, this has an option for a, a hydraulic tow board. As you can see, there's a camera down here. There's a hydraulic jack that sets right in here. When I turn that, or crank this jack, that brings these rollers up. And I'm starting to, the log is starting to come up here now. So what I want, if I get positioned here, what I want to do is bring that log up just so that it touches the blade. Okay. So down at this end now. The blade is sitting right on the log. You can see it a little bit better from around this end. So now we've now adjusted. We've taken, raised the log two inches. That split the difference on that taper. Four inch taper. So now when we travel the log back to the other, or the carriage back to the other end, So much easier if I had another set of hands here to work this camera. We're back here, the 16 and a half inch point on the scale. We've now adjusted for taper. So now when I take that mill and pass through there, it's going to take an even slab off the bottom and the top 
and the cant that's left in the middle is going to have the grain running straight through the straight through the lumber as opposed to uh, being run on, on an angle to the grain of the tree and that's just how easy it is now if your mill doesn't have uh, a setup like these tow boards that's nothing to despair over you can just as easily stick a PV under that log shim a couple of pieces of board underneath on the bunk just to take up that gap you can adjust for taper that way but it's something that you have to do if you want quality lumber. You've got to get that taper worked out. So, hope that's some use to you. See you on the next one.